The first era of smartphones are all like this. Clean and simple, but kind of one-dimensional. So how do you differentiate when everyone has essentially the same phone? Like this. Or, more to the point, like this. Motorola's new phone, the Moto Z, is the result of a years-long project to build a modular smartphone. One where you, the user, get to decide how it works and how it looks. You can add speakers that actually have some bass, or a battery pack when you know you'll be using your phone for hours, or a pretty decent projector. And Motorola achieved all this by giving developers full access to the entire smartphone functionality. That includes every connector and every chip so that when you attach a mod, it's not like plugging in an accessory. It's like adding a new piece to your phone and then securing it so that it feels like one piece again. First principle behind that prototype was make something that is truly thin and light to give it the tensile strength that we needed to make sure that the phone did not actually bend, we had to reinvent a special kind of steel on the back of the device to make sure that we can actually build a device that's 50% thinner than our existing designs. Throughout the design process, Motorola had to rethink almost every part of the smartphone. Engineers had to move the antenna so your cell service wouldn't be blocked by the mods. They also got rid of the headphone jack and they came up with a way to use magnets, pins, and even that big camera hump to make it really easy to attach and detach mods. And they worked on making it really, really easy for other people to make mods. Uh, so we took a lot of inspiration from Raspberry Pi and, and we were able to come up with essentially a full-blown board that a developer doesn't have to build on their own. It has a, a perf board and you can build on top of the board itself for your own application and for all this to work, Motorola needs to build a huge ecosystem of mods and help people understand the value of a modular phone in the first place, which is harder than it sounds. Really, this is all one big grand experiment, but maybe it's also the next best step for smartphones. The whole reason smartphones like this are great is that their app stores let you do a million things with your very same device. Isn't it time our phones themselves worked the same way?